Hey y'all, uh, this is Madison here, and uh, if you're if you're uh, hearing this or watching this, you're probably on my blog. And um, what I did a couple months back, um, when I had some free time, I made a game called Schming Schmong, which is a joke off of ping pong. It's uh, it's like ping pong, but it's not really ping pong. So that's where it got its name. Um, uh, I noticed that pretty much everybody that I show the game to um, doesn't really know how to play it. Most people want to jump in and they want to just try to figure it out. Um, you kind of need some instruction first. I didn't really think of that when I made it. Uh, most Flash games, they, um, they're really easy and, and you just sort of click around and, and it's really easy to figure out, but Schming Schmong isn't really like that. Uh, it's kind of it's kind of hard to just jump in. So here's my blog. Let's see, um, here's the Shrink Strong Flash game. I'm gonna click on it. Scroll down. This embeds really nice with Drupal. Um, so you can go to instructions. Nobody really does. You can see what the instructions are. It's WASD, just like uh, many games on the computer. Um, what you do is you use the really just the ASD keys to pull the paddle back and tilt it, and then you hit a uh, space to release the paddle. So that's like when you hit the ball. It's like you're winding up and then you're swinging, um, and then you have to hit R to reset the ball. I didn't really make it so that it resets automatically. Sometimes you have to hit the R key more than once. Um, and I couldn't really figure out uh, how to reset it on its own. It just seemed easier to leave it like that. You get a little bio. It's about timing and preparation, yada yada. Uh, while your opponent's hitting the ball, you should be preparing for the next hit. So when they're hitting the ball, you know, get the paddle back. Because you don't have a lot of time to get the paddle back. Usually, you run out of time. So I'm going to play the game. So you can see that the game is playable. That... Um, once you get the hang of it, it's actually kind of fun. Here I have a little paddle. This is a little thing I did in um, Adobe Illustrator. It's kind of 3D. Look at this. You know, this 3D paper paddle. <laughs> so we're going to go to the ball and hit it. Not a traditional ping pong serve. Just uh, hit it over the net. Pulling the paddle back. Notice how I like pull. I go back a little bit just so I have enough time to hit the ball. Um, what I'm really doing is I'm using the mouse. Oops, uh, I'm using the mouse to move the paddle to where I want to go, and I save a little bit of time to pull back the W, A, S, and D keys. Um, just in order that I have enough time. Um. Like here, I'm using um, S and D to do that. Oops, hit it out. And you can use A and S to tilt it this way, to hit the ball to the right. So A and S to hit the ball to the right, S and D to pull it, to, to hit it to the left. Now W you don't use very much. It's usually if you tilt the battle back too far, and then you're gonna hit the ball out, so you try to correct it, and give it a little less tilt. So now I'm going to try to win. It's actually pretty hard. Well, computer messed up there. It's pretty random. The computer really just decides whether it's going to hit it to the left or the right and then it randomly hits it within a certain bounds. It's not a very sophisticated AI. I actually wasn't even sure I was going to be able to make an AI. AI because I thought that they were complicated but if you make an AI like this it's not very complicated so let's try to win here really the way to win is to hit good angles oh gosh that was a perfect hit from my computer I can't see my score okay so I have two if you hit a good angle the computer is going if especially if they if you hit it to the left side and they choose to hit it to the left, 
It's like a coin flip. Whether I hit it to the left or the right. Oh man, I'm losing. I'm the one who created this game and I'm losing at it. Gosh, must be tough. Ugh. Alright. I'm taking you down, computer. Oh, got it that time. I don't really have to do this to 21 for you to get the idea. Um, there's not really much more to it. And you want to try to clear the net. Don't want to pull the paddle back too far. You want to prepare the paddle back long before. Like here, I can even start now. Before the computer even hits the ball, I can start pulling the paddle back. Get a timing advantage. So that's really it. Alright, do your best. Thanks for watching.